Well, it's finally, finally over. The search for a new head coach has finally concluded. I know I'm a couple days late and I know it's already been known, but I'm gonna make this video anyways. But Pat Kelsey from College of Charlestown will be the new head coach of in the University of Louisville. And in the last couple days, he has did more social media wise, energy wise, and even public relations wise, or what I say, community relations wise, than Kenny Payne has did in his two years here. And that's saying something that is what the Louisville fan base needs is energy and a sense of hope. So who is Pat Kelsey? Pat Kelsey is a winner. He has won everywhere he has went, be it at small colleges and mid-major colleges, he is a winner who gets to the tournament. That is what is important here at Louisville and everyone is looking forward to seeing what he can do. There are people that are being negative, which they have a right to, looking just at the stats alone. Questions can be raised and they're valid. He hasn't won past the first day and that's fine. But at College of Charleston where he, he went 39 to 15 in three years with two NCAA tournament, tournament appearances, that's like a what 70 some percent? That's awesome. So he was a he was a coach on the rise, but you know, as fans being fans, there is some negativity because they didn't get their guy, and people were complaining how long the process was to hire a new coach. I assume these people thought it was because it's Louisville and the history here. They just assumed position became available coaches would quit their current jobs and just line up at the door but that is just the type of people we have in the fan base and i get it it's fanatic that's what being a fan means it's fanatic but let's be a little bit rational the last two years have been an absolute shit show and the last eight years have would wear any fan base out with everything that's going on one fan in particular wanted the donors to pull their money out from the nil what are you fucking stupid? That's a little overboard. And while yes, Pat Kelsey wasn't at the top of my list personally, from the videos I've seen of him on social media, I love it. I love it. The guy's energy alone exudes, gives people hope. And that's what Louisville needed. Hope. And his hate of shoes. So, A, uh, that's the one mulligan, because the last time it happened, it was to me. So I'm not yelling at you, but next time, that absolves me of any sin on shoes. No more. I'm throwing it outside. Because the last time it happened, it was to me. And not to shoot strays towards Charles Sands gym, but he is going to be in awe of the facilities here at UofL. I would love to see a video of his reaction when he takes the tour of the Yum Center. Again, no disrespect towards Charleston. We all have to start somewhere. Like me on YouTube, please subscribe. But back to the topic. He has head coaching experience. And like I said, he has won in every spot he has been. In. That right there gives me personally hope that he would do well here and it's okay you could be pessimistic too if you choose to i just choose not to shit on the guy before he has even had his press conference and that's what we saw minutes within the announcement that he was going to be the head coach but that is coming from a radio host on 790 a uk radio station who wanted to appear that they were interested in grabbing a couple hundred U of L listeners so they grabbed this dude anyway <laughs> louisville found a new head coach thank god it sucked how it played out and we missed out on squad drew who was going to be an extremely hard play but at least you have to try and that's what josh hertz did but i did not think how open he was with his religion would play well with the most of the fan base here and then the whole circus sh show with how the dusty man the josh shirts ordeal played out holy hell what a shit show that was but dusty may decided to go to michigan where football is king and the whole bob valvano death threats thing came out which ended up not being the case 
I just don't think Dustin May wanted to be the guy here. Which at U of L, you have to be comfortable with being the guy. You know, U of L is the show in Louisville. We don't have a sports team. We have uh, AAA baseball. We have a soccer team. But let's be real, U of L basketball is the show. But I will say, after watching a couple of minutes of the Indiana State's NIT games, I think Josh Schertz would have been a decent fit here. But he kind of screwed himself with signing some kind of agreement with St. Louis, which U of L would have had to pay St. Louis a buyout just to hire Schertz, who Schertz wasn't even officially named the head coach of St. Louis, but it's known that he will be going to St. Louis. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. So that is that is on him. Have you been drinking paint? Maybe in the future, if Schertz gets St. Louis rolling and it doesn't work out with Kelsey here, we'll see. But I have hope that Kelsey will be all right. Kelsey will do good. As of this morning, we're actually getting named in portal destinations for players, which we haven't really been in in two years. We didn't even, with Payne, we didn't even have anyone committed. We had one guy committed, but never signed on the signing day. But anyways, that's the last I will speak of Kenny Payne. But Kelsey, he's going to have to assemble a staff and he's going to have to assemble it quick and get recruiting starting immediately because the transfer portal closes May 1st and Louisville just has a couple players still on the roster from last season with BAH, Brandon Huntley, Huntley Hatfield, and Trey White entering the portal a couple days ago. But I, re I believe the whole roster needs a fresh start from the university to the players. Just get rid of any leftover brokenness from the basketball problem and rebuild start fresh everyone gets clean slate we've seen videos of kelsey already you know like i said this is a couple days um, after the he's had his press conference it's great the standard is the standard that is that is how he put it how Kel, uh, coach kelsey put it the standard is the standard and i love it the standard is the standard so i'm excited for kelsey i think he's going to be great He's already great for the freaking community with his interactions with fans. He had his press conference, and then a couple hours later, he was on Twitter basis, you know, just talking to fans. He, the former coach that was here never did anything like that. I don't even think he knew how to open Twitter. But anyways, guys, I'm excited for Kelsey. I'm excited for University of Louisville. I'm excited for basketball again. We have many more months to get this thing rolling, and I have faith that Kelsey will build a strong, strong foundation for the basketball program the next year and the year after that. We'll see how it goes. But I'm excited for him. I'm happy for the fans. We have hope again. And that's going to be the video, guys. As you all know, I am a boring YouTuber. Be sure to subscribe. Share if you like. Like the video, please. And let me know in the comments your thoughts of Coach Kelsey. See you.